Hi, this is Dr. Khan. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, may peace be upon you and sending you a lot of positive energy. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a topic called I am a woman and I'm afraid to protect my money. I am a woman and I just give my money away very, very easily and very, very quickly. Okay, so I will be firstly talking to you about why this happens and number two, some solutions and mantras that you can use to protect your money and why it's important to protect that money okay uh, and this is a sincere talk uh, to just really help all women out there okay so why why do we easily give our money away right number one is we are nurturers right women are born instinctually to, to help others to be nurturers right and one way to nurture others is to give them money right pay for things to to buy things, right? And certain, sometimes we do these these acts of nurturing in, in the expense of us, right? So we might pay a pay a, a a restaurant bill when we don't have enough money, right? Or we won't ask for our the other half, uh, the other person's half, right? Uh, we also are so that's number one. We are nurturers, right? Uh, instinctual, uh, instinctually like to nurture others that's number one so understanding that that this nature of ours okay but it cannot be in the expense of us that's number one okay number two uh, is sometimes if you grew up in certain homogenous cultures it's very it's it's another another way to be a nurturer is to be a martyr right you're always giving you're always giving and one way we do this is by giving our money away right um that's number number two so we feel like we need to be martyrs right nurturers and martyrs number three if you come from uh certain other cultural influences may include or societal cultural influences may include not being able to be direct right so when you in, engage in certain behaviors you have to ask yourself what kind of programming have i brought to the table when it comes to money what kind of programming have i brought to the table when it comes to money am i being direct right uh sometimes that impedes us from expressing ourselves and asking for our money back or protecting our money so we might not be we don't know how to be direct because if you grew up in certain cultural some certain cultures it, when you are direct as a woman, you are basically being, it, it equates to being disrespectful. So being direct has always been equated to being disrespectful if you're a woman and you're direct. So you need to break those, those mis, misconceptions. We need to break those misconceptions and say, no, I can be direct, right? No one handed this money to me on a silver platter. I can be loving and kind and ask for, my, ask for uh, and talk about money. Right, but we need to break those barriers, those misconceptions. Right, so know what kind of programming you have brought to the table when you are talking about money or when you are dealing with money. Right, that's so. These are certain things that have that uh, why it's hard for us as females to handle money, talk about money, any type of money business dealings involving our money. Right, so understanding those. Number one, we like to be nurturers. We sometimes want to be martyrs if we, we grew up in certain cultures. And then it's hard for us to be direct, right? Because being direct has always been equated to being disrespectful. And that's not the case. Okay. That's where you want to understand some of the programmings. Okay. Nurture, martyr. Can't be direct because that's disrespectful. Quote, unquote, not true. Right? So those are some... Uh, uh, why we are why this is difficult for us so what are some solutions and why is it important to protect your money let's talk about why it's important first number one it's important because it's your sense of security no one hands like I said no one hands hands money to you on a silver platter you worked for it you got the education you worked whatever you did to get that money it's your money so it provides a sense of security it protects you it protects your children's livelihood. So you owe it to your children, right? So it protects your children's livelihood. Moving on, money equals powerfulness, right? In a healthy way. What do I mean? If money helps you to help, allows you to help others, right? So if your goal is to help others and change the world, having money allows that. It promotes that, right? And 
you can't if you can't if you don't if you can't help yourself how are you going to help others if you're giving all your money away right how are you going to help yourself and help others right in a healthy way so these are certain things that you have to understand why it's important to protect your money write these down right you owe to your children number one is your help to your children's livelihood it's it, the money money is to protect you it's a provide sense of security right it helps you be be powerful right as a woman so you don't just hand it away right so those are reasons why it's important so what are some solutions okay one is realizing that number one this is a mantra or something that you need to write down islamically it's your right your money is your money and your husband's money is also your money so this is an islamic right that's number one right so understanding that you're doing this for god you're setting boundaries with people because you're doing this for god god has given you this right so to so honor this right that's number one that's number the number one solution we uh, drilling this into you that this is your islamic right money is your right women this is your right okay that's number one number two uh, understanding that no one handed it to you on a silver platter no one will give you money for free money is something that is it's no one will no one will give you for free okay so hold on to it hold on to it okay number number next understand that it provides a sense of security moving forward say to yourself that this is for my children's livelihood right this is for my livelihood when I get older right this is something that I worked for so these are certain things that you want to tell yourself as you deal with money business dealings uh, going out with a friend in a group of friends with a group of friends right understanding that you don't you don't have to just give your money away to just to be nice you don't have to be afraid to ask for your right right to protect your money these are this is your Islamic right you honor God by protecting your money as a female okay Please do not let the culture get into the way, your programming get in the way, being nice get in the way, being code like the codependent tendencies that many women uh, have internalized. Don't let those get in the way when it comes to your money, please. This is for your protection. Okay, I hope this has helped. I hope you can write some of these down, use these uh, on a card when you have to deal with the, do, uh, engage in a big business dealing, when you have to. Uh, when you're engaging in just doing therapy or whatever work you do and you want you deserve you deserve to get what you give like you deserve that you're to be paid for what you work for right so don't underestimate yourself don't uh don't just don't give your money away like that okay i hope this has helped take care bye